People were rightly outraged when Pelosi said, well, we have to pass the bill to see what's in it. People were rightly outraged at that. Why aren't some of those same people rightly outraged at those saying, well, let's just wait and, and, and we'll see if, if Trump does anything bad? You know, no, no, stop. Minorities and, and, and women, stop worrying about Trump. Let's just wait. You're, you're basically doing the same thing as what Pelosi, excuse me, what Pelosi said. You know, we shouldn't be outraged at that. But, you know, what Pelosi did was just so wrong, right? Yeah, how does that work? It bothers me greatly that minorities and women are not really getting any support right now. It's all just, well, let's just wait and see. They're, they're, you know, just the idea of people going out to protest in the name of, of uh, minority rights, in the name of women's rights, you know, just the idea of people going out to protest is being looked down upon like, like oh, we're being a bunch of crybabies. Well, you know, you got to you got to pass the law to see what's in it. You got to pass that bill to see what's in it. Right? It bothers me greatly that people who call themselves left-wingers, who call themselves liberals, that some of you are giving Trump full support. I understand, you know, that you're happy that Hillary didn't get in office. That's fine. Okay, I, I get it. Okay, I get that. But I don't get this full, full, full support of Trump. What is that word? Tacit support of Trump. Tacit, is that the right word? Well, anyway, I don't get it. Now I think of Tom Hanks and Big going, I don't get it. But I don't. I, I don't understand it. You know, the stuff Trump has talked about during his campaign, the people that he's surrounded himself during this campaign, I mean, it goes pretty much against everything that the left stands for, and yet you're just going to give him full support. I don't understand it. Now I think of a line from the Beatles movie, Help. I can't understand it. They kept on me nose. A man of all noses, right? Um, I also get that people don't like what the uh, SJWs have done over the past couple of years. Okay, I get it. Unfortunately, the, the hatred of what the SJWs have done over the past couple of years has went to such extremes that if someone who has SJW views in any way says anything, you're like, you don't take anything they say seriously. You act like there is not a single issue that the SJWs bring up that's valid. So anyone that's actually trying to bring up issues of real social justice are ignored. It's just, it's all ignored. It's all this big hate fest against the SJWs. Now, there are a lot of things I disagree with that is that are these typical SJW positions. Okay, I don't agree with a progressive stack. Um, I don't agree with um, having these uh, safe spaces at the colleges. You know, if someone wants to, to, to create their own safe space on, on a, in a private area somewhere, that's up to them. But to have public events, but then only allow certain people to even be there as an audience, I, I think that's kind of weird. I do. And to say that a public event is something that, that can't be recorded, yeah, that's kind of weird. Things that I 
would speak against is when people will have major prejudices and it could be considered racism or sexism or even uh, heterophobia when people will say really negative things about straight white cisgender males, right? Okay, I get that. I get it. Although when I look at that, I'm like, you're going to compare that when, when this tiny minority of people that are obviously unhinged state these negative things about straight white cisgender males and you're going to compare that to what uh, gay people have went through, what women have went through, um, what trans people go through, what black people go through. You're going to compare that to when negative things are said and done against those groups. You know, it's like, oh, it's so horrible. They're saying something negative about straight white, straight white cisgender males. Okay, so you know that that hurts. You know that that is painful. So why won't you speak up against when those those kind of negative attitudes towards those that are not straight, those that are not trans, those those that are not trans, those that are trans, um, women, uh, racial minorities, or why isn't there even a, a one one hundredth as, as as much outrage towards forces or people or whatever being done against those? Well, now they're talking about me and and I can't handle that. And yet you want to treat minorities like they, they're they weak. But you can't even take this one hundredth, one one hundredth of of the stuff that, uh, that uh, we've been putting up with for decades. You can't even take one one hundredth of that. You can't even take one one thousandth of that. And when it occurs, you're like, well, now we can't support any of you because if a small minority of you are saying negative things about our demographic. Doesn't that just seem a little insane? Doesn't that seem really stupid? And as time goes on, it makes me wonder whether or not, well, maybe the SJWs have been right all along. I mean, if it's going to be this thing where, you know, well, you know, Pelosi was wrong in what she said, but uh, it's okay when it applies to, to Trump and minorities and women. It's, it's totally okay then, but it wasn't okay when Pelosi did it. Interesting. Um, it's, it's just very disappointing. And now I think of Angela Lansbury on uh, Murder, She Wrote, going, Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs>